All right. Nice. And it, let me I'm see that slice. knife. Here. That's a nice knife. Yeah, I'm going to slice that, 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 That's Manny's knife from that last video. Are we shooting? Yeah, we're always shooting, man. What are you talking about? That's what we do. For a That's what we do. Yeah, I want, okay. I still want some of that bread. All right. Though. So, <laughs> this is too funny. Are we shooting? That's what uh, we do. That's what we do. I never know when he's got his finger on the button or not. Okay. Give me a piece of that. All right. So, there's you, a sir. piece of a button. All right, and so we just spread a little bit of that on there like that. And uh, <laughs> Manny, okay, we just did a video on this knife, and and I discovered so. All right, we were going to do a, a, a bun and put some uh, butter on it, and I kind of forgot that. So this is the add-on for the video of Manny's knife. Okay, and you'll find it. All right. So then also, mm, that is so good. And it's 90 degrees, so the butter's melting. All right, let's wipe it off here and put it away. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh! See, he did. I knew it. I asked him to write you a note. Uh oh. I dumped the sharpener out. I didn't realize. That there's actually a note in there. Okay, it's uh, six six eighteen. So June the sixth of uh, two thousand eighteen. Brad, uh, here's my karambit neck knife we discussed on the phone this morning. So he did send it out the same way he said he would. I use this for my ADC knife, and uh, need it razor sharp. First of all, it can't be razor sharp because it's a little too thick, and the bevel is too short, so it's a little too thick that way. Um, and I may spend a little bit more time and work on it. Okay, uh, I know your sharpener will work. I just need to see it as I am a visual learner, not audi audible. Okay, I have also included the sharpener I purchased uh, just to sharpen this knife. Please work your magic and get, the, and get it slicing paper like it did when uh, I took it out of the box. And a, a little bit of a follow-up on that. A knife right out of the box means it just came from the factory. A factory sharpen is way different than we do. We slide along the blade, they, they grind 90 degrees to the blade. So they come down to a knife edge to a very, very sharp point with a little microscopic uh, serrated edge created by the, the sander, the sand on the belt scraping along 90 degrees to the blade. So if you look at it under a microscope, you actually have a saw effect that's only perhaps one thousandth thick or so. So yeah, it's gonna cut better. Uh, let's get back to this that I purchased. Okay, uh, please you're working magic on it and make it slice paper like it did when it came out of the box. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me and listen to the issues I was having. I definitely will recommend the product to friends and family. Thank you again, uh, Manny, okay? And that's Largo, Florida, okay? So I've been there, actually. I went and spent one time, I went and spent three and a half months in Florida goofing off, having fun, and uh, went down to Key West, Florida. Um, so that was cool. Uh, so this is Brad. Thank you, Manny. The note that was in there. Sorry, I didn't see it before. I will take the sharpener, and I'm going to kind of set down on this a little bit more and uh, see if I can't thin it, move the bevel down just a little bit. It's probably a 15 or 20 degree bevel. Well, give, now, give him a quick give him a quick visual. What would you do with that blade? What are you doing with it? Okay, I would actually hold it kind of tight, get a hold of it, and then I would just sort of rip. I pick it up, set it down, move it back. Pick it up a little bit, set it down, move it back. Just like this. What I'm doing right now, we got the toe and the heel of the blade. So you got the toe, which is the cutting edge. You got the heel back here. Okay, that's the back side, the furthest most part away from the cutting edge okay on your bevel and because it's really uh a steep bevel you'd have to you'd have to lean down on it a little bit because right now that's the flat part his bevel is more like this i need to bring it down to about like this which is around a 10 degree bevel so i would get a hold of it like this i'd set it down on something a little bit solid and i just start working and i can see little tiny microscopic uh, shavings that's actually being milled off of the blade just like this now that blade to really actually fix it, you're probably looking at 
I don't even know, could be eight or 10 minutes. I would not use the V because we do not want to cut the back of the blade down like the front of the blade, like the top of the blade here, that's the back of the blade. Although I can see it's that's been done to it just a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of reef on it, kind of lay on it like I say. I'm gonna bring the angle down from about a 15, maybe 17 degree angle. Uh, down closer to a 10 degree angle and then go out this way and lean it down a little bit so I'm changing the angle restructuring reprofiling the blade just like this and come back here a little more like this a little more and if I had my little belt sand when you get this back you're actually going to see a difference in the blade just like that and if I hold still, you see the glitter on the blade? That's actually the little uh, microscopic. It's not microscopic. You can see the dust. Okay, but it's, it's really small. All right, just like that, like this. All right, so let's see if that has changed. So using a quarter of an ounce, half an ounce, that's not going to work. You gotta, I call it lean on it, you gotta lean on it a little bit. If you're literally trying to cut the blade, you're trying to cut the metal, you're trying to cut it down, you gotta lean on it just a little bit. Okay, just like that. All right, now let's just touch lightly, and boy, has that got a point on it. So just like this, like that. We touch it light. So if you tried to sharpen it and change the bevel and you tried only for a minute or two, and you were using a light pressure, that won't get it. Same way with a, a whetstone or anything else you use. If you're really trying to change the bevel, you gotta cut the metal off. So you can't be a wuss about it. And that's actually getting quite a bit sharper. Yeah. All right, so let's. In the rocks here. All right. As far as, okay, <laughs> it, it's not bad, but in the first place, boxes, paper, string, tape, and all that stuff, you're probably not going to use a knife like this. Uh, this is a neck knife that's more for uh, uh, self-protection. You know, you reach up under your shirt, give it a pull, and there it is, okay? But don't get me wrong, that knife will cut you. It takes a really sharp knife to slice paper. And that knife is so thick, it's going to be a while before it slices paper. Never expect to cram it to slice paper quite like a... Oop, poked myself there. And yes, the other day, I carelessly reached into my bag after the buttholes at TSA got done with it. They just, they dump it out and they just shove it all back in the bag. Okay, and yeah, I got my finger and it cut me good. My knife's cut me. <laughs> when you mess up with my knife, you mess up big. Okay. So, will it ever be razor sharp? I really doubt it because it's too thick. All right, is it sharp? Yes. Will it take the thumbnail right off? Yes. Manny, you take care and have a good day. We'll see you later.